Former President Donald Trump has created a bit of confusion in the Missouri Senate primary. On Monday, uh, Donald Trump put out a ring endorsement of Eric. Just, just Eric. Hmm. All right. So here, here, here's the email. There's a big election in the great state of Missouri, and we must send a mega champion and true warrior to the U.S. Senate. Someone who will fight for border security, election security, our military and great veterans. Together with having a powerful toughness on crime and the border, we need a person who will not back down to the radical left lunatics who are destroying our country. I trust the great people in Missouri on this one to make up their own minds as much as they did when they gave me a landslide victories in the 2016 to 2020 elections. And I'm therefore proud to announce that Eric, on caps, Eric, has my complete and total endorsement. What? What? Er Eric? Just... Just Eric. It could be any Eric. Eric who? I don't know. And neither does anyone else. Because in this, in this race, you have three Erics. Three of them. Now, two of them, uh, of course, are are the ones that are fighting over this endorsement. Uh, you have the despicable Eric Greitens or Greitens and one of his five other opponents, Eric Schmidt. And then, of course, the other the third one is Eric McElroy. So now five candidates, three Eric's mass confusion. Wow. So uh, great. Now, both Schmidt and Greitens released statements through their Twitter accounts that were touting this endorsement. Both said that Trump had called them personally. Very interesting. Maybe Trump believed that they're the same person. Who knows? It's possible. They are both older white guys. But no, there actually is something else afoot. But first, let me give you uh, Greitens telling reporters. President Trump's message on this has been extraordinarily clear. I'm the mega champion in this race. Eric Schmidt's a rhino. Just to let you know, Eric Reitens is an alleged domestic abuser, uh, abuser with, uh, well, with some scandals on his record, okay? Now, if he wins the primary, there's a good chance that Greitens could lose. Democrat could win. But then again, with the Republicans, you never know. They might actually look at that and say, oh, no, uh, Eric Reitens, love him. Yeah! Okay, and by the way, he used to be a governor, so the governor of Missouri, after he had to, before he had to step down, that is. But okay, so now here's what might be going on here. Now, now many of you could point out that, oh, uh, maybe Trump's doing a savvy move. Okay, probably none of you were thinking that, but okay. Um, but hey, look, regardless of which Eric wins, he could do the normal Trump thing and say it was my endorsement to tip the scales for Eric. Whichever Eric that is. Now, that's a fine explanation, but it actually it gets dumber than that. According to Politico, there was a meeting with Trump between Ronna McDaniel and Kimberly Guilfoyle. So uh, originally, this meeting just had Ronna McDaniel in it. Uh, and, the, you know, they were talking about this was a normal pre-planned -pre uh, meeting. Somehow they got in the Missouri race. For some reason, Trump called Josh Hawley to ask him. <laughs> I mean, and then called Kim Kimberly Guilfoyle. Kimberly Guilfoyle's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm totally for uh, greetings. Uh, I love greetings. Uh, in fact, I'm going to come down. I'm going to talk to you and Josh Hawley about greetings. And then Josh Hawley scampers off somewhere. I don't know. Maybe the mob was near him. I gone, gone. Uh, but anyway, Kimberly Guilfoyle gets into the meeting, and this is all detailed in Politico, according to people who were uh, familiar with it. <laughs> and so uh, now there's a discussion between Donald Trump, Ronna McDaniel, and Kimberly Guilfoyle. For some reason, they're talking about which Eric to endorse. Now, McDaniel, again, she's uh, on the side of Schmidt and argued that Greetings could cost the Republicans a seat, and so with as many scandals, uh, and Trump's like, oh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, maybe. 
uh, it's possible, but then again, uh, Eric. Okay, now here's where Politico recounts. Quote, as the meeting wore on, those familiar with what transpired say that Trump began to lose patience. Big surprise. At one point, it was suggested that he could endorse Eric, just Eric, and that by doing so, he would be supporting Bo Schmidt and Greetings. It was a madcap exit ramp, but Trump went in on the details, asking if the two candidates' first names were spelled identically, noting that it wouldn't work if they weren't. No, no, of course it wouldn't. <laughs> While Trump was intrigued, he also remarked that it might be too cute. Oh, was it, though? <laughs> now, people familiar with Trump's thinking say that concerns around Greetings' past, controversies had weighed in his decision not to offer a full endorsement. I don't know how true that is. Uh, but at one point on Monday, they said that Trump pointed out that Greitens may face Trudy Bush Valentine, a Democratic candidate who happens to be wealthy. Why? Why are the Democrats running heirs to the Anheuser Bush fortune? Good Lord. Why? But here's what Trump said about that. She's not the weak Bush family, you know, as in uh, George W. Bush or Jeb Bush. Give me a break. Please clap. So, no, he says, she's a strong Bush family. Well, I mean, if you drink enough of them, I guess. But then also soured on, on Schmidt because his pollster had released a poll showing him not doing as well against Ron DeSantis in Missouri. But he didn't, he, he it's not like he endorsed the poll. He just, he, here's the results of the poll. It does not show that you have a commanding or dominant lead in Missouri like you did before. Oh, I don't like Eric Schmidt. Eric sucks. I like Eric. The other Eric. Whatever his name is. Uh, look, this just really shows you. It just really illustrates how Trump's whole endorsement process, or just basically any process that he goes through, is just as stupid as we've always expected it to be.